Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, not the kind of typical video I make for my YouTube channels, but I wanted to record one today in honor of the 30th anniversary of Linux. Pretty amazing that Linux is only 30. Um, I'm older than Linux, I still can't kind of wrap my head around that. But um, I thought it would be a great chance firstly to uh, celebrate just for a moment Linux and how great Linux is. And also because I wanted to post this up on LinkedIn, talk just for a couple of moments about Linux in the workplace and who uses Linux. Um, I did another video for this, 30, this 30th anniversary Linux uh, talking about the fact that three myths regarding Linux or what I think are myths about it. Before we go any further, got to put that tux. Tux, ha happy 30th birthday Tux. And uh, of course, I do own a Tux, a tux plush toy. Um, but one of the things, so who uses Linux? And I just wanted to say that this myth that I talked about in the video, it's not just devs. I am a marketer, um, currently marketing communications and uh, doing consultancy and that. A lot of my background was in writing and tech writing, but in any event, I'm not a developer. I've never been a developer. I don't aspire to be a developer. And um, I've been using Linux, Ubuntu Linux, as my day-to-day -day operating system, distro on all my computers, my desktop, my laptop, that's actually all I have. But uh, all, the, all those two computers and all my work computers, I have not used Windows day-to-day -day for more than 14 years. True story, really. Uh, so just wanted to break that myth that you can't work with Linux. Uh, if anyone's curious as to how you work with Linux as a writer and if that poses any difficulties, um, we have gotten great technology. over the, Linux on the desktop has evolved so much over the past 10 years that I've been using it that it's uh, pretty cool. And nowadays, if you need to run Windows for a specific program, uh, there you can run what's called a virtual machine. Um, and that's like sort of an operating system within an operating system. And uh, that's, that's, always, that's always an option we, we use. Uh, generally, the compatibility issues even between Linux and Windows programs have sort of been improved over the years. And of course, not to forget, the advent of cloud computing, which is kind of one of the reasons I go to bat so much for cloud is the fact that it makes whatever operating system you're using on your local computer and makes that kind of irrelevant because everything's going up in the cloud. Everybody just needs a web browser. Everybody can work there. So um, it's amazing that Linux has gotten this far. Happy birthday to Linux. Um, if you're watching this and you're curious about Linux, uh, using it for yourself, then I really encourage you to give it a go. You don't need to be a computer genius to use Linux. I will tell you that now. If you did, I would not be able to use Linux. Ubuntu Linux um, is a really good standard uh, distro, which is basically a type of Linux. Debian is slightly harder, uh, but honestly, there is a case to be made for the fact that if you stick to what are called LTS, long-term stability Linux releases, it's actually a more stable platform than Windows. Second really cool point about Linux I love, and I'll wrap up on this. Linux is very forgiving of hardware, and you can frequently run lightweight Linux distros, and there's one called Lubuntu, which is what I've been at, what actually the one I've been using for too many years to remember. And you can get away with using older hardware on that because it runs so efficiently. So I don't know how much more I can rep Linux, rep Linux in the space of five minutes. Uh, have, I, have, I, have I put up my Tux graphic? I have. Uh, if you do want to learn more about Linux and get some cool facts, then uh, consider heading over to the Linux Foundation, which has a nice landing page up on its, on its website right now. In honor of the 30th birthday, it says, join us in celebrating 30 years of Linux. And it gives you a nice little bunch of downloads. Your Tux turns 30. Um, and here are some cool facts. Did you know that 100% of the world's top 500 supercomputers run on Linux? Well, now, now, now you do. Um, there are other cool facts for, such as that you have these for, for your mobile devices. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry, I knew, I knew I was missing something. Trusted by NASA and JPL to run a helicopter on Mars. Now there's way, 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 way many more things that could be said about Linux than what's up on their website. But basically, Linux is great. Um, if anybody is interested in using it, if you're a writer who uses Linux or a marketer or anybody that people don't typically think of as a Linux user, 
I'd love to just hear from you, uh, just out of curiosity, how long have you been using Linux? What challenges have you had? How is it going for you? And are you sharing in the joy of the 30th anniversary Linux? Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to get more video content from me, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can click on this video or you can go to danielrosal.com forward slash YouTube.